back with a new video and in today's video it's a very special one because I am doing a mega Taba haul <laughs> so basically um to all of my viewers they know I normally do Taba hauls I haven't done one in about 11 months so before 2019 ends I wanted to do this mega Taba haul I have like all of the items like on my bed as you guys can see um so they're all like organized in front of me right now and i'm going to adjust the camera Oof, oh no anyway i can't wait to share with you guys all the stuff that i bought throughout this whole year of 2019 on taobao it's basically gonna be a lot of like cosplay anime haul because i bought like a lot of wigs and a lot of stuff but Anyway, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the Tawa haul and let's get to it. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, so I start with this parcel here, which is what I got in the mail. Um, I normally buy my uh, items on Taobao through an agent. I use buy to Taobao. I used to buy directly on Taobao, but then shipping curve. Uh, policy change they weren't shipping to Malaysia and um, it would be better if you like spoke Chinese but I couldn't do that so I decided to just use an agent just to make my life easier I didn't mind that so oh my god we're opening all the stuff in the mail oh so excited oh look at that I know what this is and I know what this is as well Ooh, okay so I'm gonna throw that there. Ah. So I'm excited to show you guys what's in here because I know. So I'll open this one first. This is definitely a wig and oh, 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 oh. and I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first item that we have in this Taba haul is a, it's nicely packed. I love buying wigs on Taba inexpensive but it is a wig i bought a oh my god what wig is this? what wig did i buy i think this is a oh my god i kind of forgot what wig i bought uh, mm. okay okay i remember now this is a giyu wig from kimitsu no yaiba i bought the demon slayer wig i got giyu's wig right here and oh my god i can't wait to open this one so i'm just gonna rip it oh you guys can tell what it is already. Oh my god, hold on. I'm just gonna rip this part of the tape at least. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, okay, this is like one of this is my friend. So Leo, this is yours because it says L right here. So I'm just gonna chuck that at the bottom. But ah, oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this one. I got Gi oh it's S size by the way. I got Giyu's cosplay set. I got Giyu's uniform from Demon Slayer. It is packed neatly. Um, by the way, in this whole Taba haul, I'm gonna provide a Google Doc link down below in case you guys wanna get the links to all the items in this haul. So, oh, I'm so happy. Oh wow, I feel so. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, you can't see it, but there's a little beautiful print on the whole. I'm loving this already. Giyu's my favorite character. Oh my god, this Haori is everything. I want to wear it. Oh, oh, hello there. Hello, it's Demon Slayer. I was, oh my god, this is dope. Hello, hello. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, before I, um, I'll have also like little um, OOTD moments with how they all look like worn. So I got this whole set, so it includes the Haori. Oh my god, this is beautiful. And it also includes like the belt. We got the belt. We got, um, oh, we got the little thing that he wears down his pant. And we, of course, have the Demon Slayer corpse uniform. Oh! Hello, excuse me. So this is the pants. I'm so sorry, you guys may not see this. I'll just have like a better view for the video. And oh my god. Oh, oh look at that. Ex oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, oh, this is a perfect fit for me. Yes, thank god I ordered small. Oh. 
Oh, I love this. Okay, so that's how um, Giyu's cosplay set looks like. This is how the wig came in. I'm not really going to open it, but it did come with a wig cap. I'll have a picture up here for you guys to see how it looks like. Um, I'll give it a, like an open so everyone gets like a rough idea on how it looks like. It's by Bluebeard. Um, it's wrapped in a netting, as you guys can see. Oh, I really don't want to open it. But uh, by the looks of it, I can tell it's not styled yet. And Giyu's wig for this one, it comes with a clip. So it's like a ponytail clip without it being like a full head of black wig. I'm just going to wear his Hari. I love it. <sighs> Okay, I'm so happy with this. Oh, it feels so comfortable too. Oh, look at that. I'm sorry guys, G give me a moment to like fangirl. I love this. Anyway, moving on to the next item I got, which is over here. I'm gonna go through them one by one. This is a, like a very trendy hype beast Sailor Fuku skirt that comes, it, it looks like this, it's a tennis skirt, but it's slightly longer than a tennis skirt, more like it ends at my knees. Uh, this is about like, 42 centimeters in like length so me being petite it's almost down to my knees so as you can see it's got this little pocket accessory here with a little long belt velcro tape in my previous video i do like an ootd you can see it there i'll put the clip up here and it also comes with a little um it's not a velcro belt but a little buckle belt right there so this skirt is basically a whole look Moving on, I think I'll just go on to wigs. Okay, over here is a Jiro wig that I got for my Jiro cosplay. Um, it came, of course, not styled at all. And all I had to do was just cut the bangs and style it to such. And I just needed to tilt the wig. It's actually really good quality, but when you're gonna use a heat straightener, uh, be careful because the fibers may burn. So I, I think this takes a certain temperature, but when I was using my heat straightener, it didn't survive, but it's still a really good cosplay wig to use for Jiro. And it comes in this and it gets a free wig cap. The next item I have is an Uraraka wig that I recently bought. Uh, this one I can take out. I have like the one here with me. So get a wig cap as well and it's packed neatly in here. I'll have a picture for you guys to see how it looks like on my head. This is how it looks like with it's full out of the box glory. <laughs> okay, I'm just adjusting it. I already styled and trimmed this and it's kind of like dying as you can tell, but it's a really good quality wig. It has a little cute fake scalp right there to give it that realistic illusions. And I did trim the bangs. When you do get the bangs, they're about like a standard um, length so you can cut it. Uh, this is how it looks like. Close up for you guys to see the fiber. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good quality. I would recommend the seller and the wig is inexpensive too. Totally recommend. The next item I have is this black wig that I got. Oh, no, no, this, okay. This is a brown wig that I got. It's basically like a Lolita doll wig. I think I'll try this on for you guys, but there's a picture here of how it looks like. Again, you get a free wig cap and there's like a really nice way of marketing. I like how it's packaged. So it's a very dolly wig. I can take it out for you guys to see. It's It reminds me of like Kiki's delivery service. That kind, take out the netting. So when I wore it, it was a bit, a little bit too short, but it's kind of pre-styled. It's got the bangs ready and basically that little hootily hoop skirt. I can do like a little demo wearing it for you guys to see. Oh my God, my lipstick went on Giyu's uniform. It's gonna put it on. So without, I'm just gonna hide my hair behind. And then this is how the wig looks like on me. This is like really good for like selfies cosplay if you're cosplaying selfie but it's just black in color. So this is how the wig looks like. It's already pre-styled. So all you have to do is just like flick it to the side. This is how it looks like. I know I'm kind of like bare. Hmm? So I bought this just for like Halloween looks. I think it's great. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. Okay, that was fun. Moving on, I bought a black wig as well. I threw away the packet because I didn't like it. This is just a black um, 
cosplay wig that I bought. It's just a standard one. Uh, I had a previous one, but it died out. So nothing much. I'll show you how the picture looks like here. It's just a regular anime wig at 80 centimeters. And it's also got the standard bang, so you can style and cut it. My next item here is Ashido Mina. I really like the seller that I bought this wig from. This is Ashido Mina's uh, wig from Boku no Hero Academia. It was basically pre-styled when I got her. So when I got the wig, it was flipped inside out. And then once I flipped it out, as you can tell, look, it's like slightly pre-styled, which I really appreciate what the seller did. And I could just put it on my head. I have pictures and videos of Mina here. Uh, as you guys can see how the wig looks like. It's me, Ashido Mina. And I am... I just wanted to do like this whole little mini video test. Like a little 360 happening. I think it's really dope. I was really pleased with this one. And I would recommend the seller. In case you guys want to get like pre-styled wigs. So this was nice. I like this. So I'm putting it back in the bag and we're moving on to the next item. I got so many wigs guys, you have no idea. So the next wig I have here is Princess Zelda from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is her short hair version and I came with a free wig cap close up as you guys can see. I love the color. Um, I haven't like taken it out. This is like fresh out of the bag. I'm not sure how it looks like. So, okay, that, that's how it looks like. Comes with the netting. Oh, okay, that's pretty. Oh my God. It's, oh, it's thick. She thick. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, she's already on. Oh my God. They sued on her pigtail here. Oh, bless. Okay, I'm just gonna do like a, I haven't even styled her. Oh, oh my God, it's perfect. I'm gonna cosplay Zel Princess Zelda and I've yet to style her wig. So it's, see the standard length, they just give you like a whole, you know, thingy. Oh my gosh, I'm so, and the pigtail is so nice and fat. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I love this and oh, it's, it's perfect. It's amazing, I love this, but I've yet to style it. So I don't wanna ruin it anymore, but it's even poofs. Um, at the end, perfectly. Oh, Bluebeard, you dummy, good. I bought it from the same seller that I bought the Giyu wig from. Again, all of them will be linked down in the description box below for you guys to purchase. So let me just wrap her up. Oh, there's the little Bluebeard price tag that you get when you purchase the wig. Oh, the wig is so beautiful, I love it. Oh. All the items that I bought here, guys, I've like bought but like kept because like Comic Fiesta is coming up in December and I haven't even taken and taken them out of like <clears throat> my words. Sorry. I um, just want to say that I haven't taken all these cosplay items out because I want to do like a few full cosplay test. Ooh, my words. I want to do a full cosplay test and make sure that everything's right. So I gather all my resources first before anything else. Alrighty, moving on is another wig. We're gonna go through like all the wigs, guys. Don't worry, I bought like more stuff. So here is a half and half black and white wig that I got. I have a picture to show you guys. I think it's pretty good quality. Again, um, it came with a wig cap. I really like the design of it. It's more of like a Lolita Harajuku design. So this is how it looks like. It's really beautiful, like the half and half. Um, it's kind of messy at the back because of how the split has to turn out But I think I can just like pre-wear it for you guys to see How it looks like look at that. Oh, I feel like a little Well, I mean I'm not doing it justice But I have like a normal photo here where it's like on me styled. I used this for a shoot that I had uh, With my friends and it was really fun. It was basically like a pet play shoot uh, by one of my awesome, friendly photographers. Super sweet. I love him. Aki, if you're watching this, hello! I love the quality of this. It's a really nice thick Harajuku wig. And very nice for cosplay, if you guys want to use it for cosplay. And I'm going to pack this away because I want to keep everything neat and kind of make the video go, go, go. 
Moving on, we have this little um, thing right here. It is an AirPod case with a little keychain. I've been using it a lot. I have a picture of it here where it's brand new. Looks really nice. It's basically a silicone rubber AirPod casing, a pink one for that. So all you have to do is just take out the little silicone right there. Silicone, sorry, silicone. And there, it looks like that. It, it really is great to protect your AirPod case if you guys have AirPods. I use it and it's great and it hooks on amazing. So this is a little cute accessory that I bought. Oof. On to the next item are, I'm gonna start with the small items since they're in front of me. So here are some false lashes that I bought. These are like some small ones in a set. This is bottom lashes that I bought. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's how they look like. And I bought this little set that came on the store. It looks like that. It's, sorry, there's like, it's messed up in there. But yes, I bought that. They're all from the same seller and I particularly wanted to get this anime eyelashes set. I love lashes like this because they complement my eye very well. That's how they look like. And that's basically it from the eyelash area. Next items are these two little jars. It came in a box, but I threw the box away. It's basically um, eyebrow cream gels for cosplay. I got one in pink and I got one in purple. And the darker colors, uh, from my experience, from what I bought, it, they, they show up more because they're dark colors and they show up well on the eyebrows compared to the lighter colors. These come in boxes and you get like a little angled brush with a little spoolie on the end in the set. That's how the bottom jars look like. These are pretty safe to use on the eyebrows. I've tested them on my skin, works great. I think it's face paint. These are like Halloween face paint makeup. They work great. So I like them and they're quite pigmented. I use them for my Jiro and my Ashido Mina cosplay from Boku no Hero and they worked great as you can see from the photos. Anyway, moving on. The next item I have is this belt that I bought that says plus ultra. It is a nice um, belt to use to put on your jeans, your pants, your skirt, hence why I bought the skirt in the beginning. This was a normal belt. It has these two metal buckles. It's more of like a waist belt, so you have to waist them in and then once it goes in the buckle, you can see how the look looks like. I'll have a picture for you guys to see. I really like the design. It's basically some vinyl printed on the belt plus ultra i hope um the camera's flipped as i'm filming this so if you guys are watching this video i'll flip it right now so you guys can see how the plus ultra looks like yeah whoopee all right that's done um on to yes the mini stuff i put them like all in here so next items we have are this belt that i also bought same thing this was a belt that I bought for my Uraraka cosplay for the manga color spread that Horikoshi did for Boku no Hero. I'll show you a sample right here. Hers was more of a slimmer belt. This is just like a regular belt, fashion belt, how it looks like. Nothing too special. That's pretty much it. So I like that. The next item I bought is also in here. Again, this is the horns I got. I won't take them out of the packet. But these are Ashido Mina horns that I bought. Uh, she's basically an alien queen. So the clips are underneath here, as you guys can see. I just put them in my head. From the photo, you can tell. It works great. Just embed them into your wig and it's fine. I also bought a Deku tie. This is Deku's tie for his summer uniform in Boku no Hero. Again, guys, you can tell I'm really into the Boku no Hero fandom. I love everybody there. So I got Deku's tie. His is a little bit more fluffy compared to the male students where it's just long and straight. Deku does his own tie. Respect. And I also bought a tie for myself, a Japanese school tie. Because of my petite body size, I'll show you guys an image of an Uraraka cosplay I did in her summer uniform. Um, the tie was a little bit too long on me, so I had to get one where it was just right the perfect length as you can see that's such a good length 
It's a good lame. So I have the golden button because the tie for my summer uniform broke. So hence, I bought a new one and I'm gonna hot glue the gold button here. And you know, you gotta cosplay DIY your stuff, you know, you know what I mean? I hope I'm not rushing. I feel so bad if I am, but it's good. We're kind of moving in the hall. I'm just showing you guys what's up. So next item I have is this other tennis skirt. This is like a, uh, the tennis skirt that I wanted to get in the first black Harajuku skirt I showed you guys because the skirt was a little longer. I wanted like a tennis tennis skirt where it's like those Sailor Fuku length. So it's a little bit above the knees. So this is how it looks like. It comes with a little belt. So I ended up buying the one where it had like this cute Harajuku punk belt that comes with it. I'll put like a picture for you guys to see how it's supposed to look like. I wore it for an outfit. It's really pretty. I love wearing it and the material is actually pretty good as well. It's soft and comfy and I would recommend it. I bought this in the size L um, in case you guys are wondering. Please check measurements on Taba and follow them. Uh, they really follow the sizing from their measurement charts that they provide so just take note. Sometimes if you're an S in your general sizing, you could be an M or an L in Taobao's measurement charts. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the next item I have is this little box right here. Not the pins, it's just basically this box. It is an enamel pin jewelry storage box. It is made out of glass, which I really like. And there's little two front buckles here, which gives it that fancy little thing and a little um star foam styrofoam board not styrofoam just a little foam cushion in there to store all my enamel pins and it works really great i am an enamel pin collector i love supporting artists and when i go to doujin booths, i tend to keep them all in here i'm a nerd that way and i like putting this all on my outfits and my accessories and my bags it's really cute i love it and this is really worth the buy. It was only like 25 ringgit. I'll put like the currency of 25 ringgit equals to how many dollars, but that's how much it costs. So it's worth the buck. I love it. Okay, I might sign up for this one. So I bought a new, brand new Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild cosplay outfit. As you can see, I'm sure you've all heard of this website. Um, it's called Me, Co Me Costumes me costumes they literally have a Taobao store like their Taobao store on Taobao so um, I bought it there and it's the same thing it's just the pricing is different so I got the Zelda cosplay outfit set and I really love it and I like how everything is tissue paper wrapped this is how the cosplay outfit looks like I'll even show you guys like a picture of how I wore it I actually bought a new one so Voila, this is how it looks like in all its glory. I really like it. Everything was packed neatly. I love the bag and the Shika slate. When I first got this back last year, um, I think I got like one of the last stocked items. So it was kind of not, not packed neatly. Not like, I didn't get like this wrapping. I think I did, but maybe not for all of it. So um, you get the belt, you get the golden belt and everything. Uh, this is the top. I'm gonna just show it to you guys and just open it just so you can get... Oh, look at it! It is Breath of the Wild! Oh, I really like how this Taobao store made it. I really love it. It's good. It's awesome. It's in the size S. So look at that. That's so pretty. Ooh, okay. And it's all tissue paper wrapped, which is what I really like. So A+. plus. I like this. This is awesome. Okay, next item we have is this kawaii pastel Sailor Fuku bag that I got. So look at it guys, it's so cute and it comes with like a little keychain pouch as well. And a heart shape, that's so cute. I'll show you guys a picture on the side. But at the back it's pink, like a full on pink, so you can use it this side. And then you can, this is the front side basically. And then those are the zippers. This is this will basically fit like an A4 folder in case you guys are wondering the size and dimension. Uh, I keep, uh, it's a decent handbag size. I keep all of my cosplay stuff in there. It doesn't have like the little line foam board. It's just like a plain bag, but it does have pockets and all. Uh, in the seller's link, you'll be able to see like how everything looks like. 
but I find this super cute. I plan on decorating it with all my keychains. So this is one of them. Oof. I also bought another one. Basically, this is how I organize all my cosplay items. So over here, we have a like grayish white Sailor Fuku bag that I got. I really like the contrast to this one. I put some keychains here to give it that little aesthetic. And then this one's more in terms of quality better because there's these metal buckles here and it just feels more sturdier. And inside of it as well is the basic fits like an A4 folder and all like how a Sailor Fuku bag would function. So just in comparison for you guys to see, I have these two. This is how it looks like. Yeah, I love it. So really great, good quality, but compared to which has a better sturdiness, it's the this one. Um, this one has like a better feel of quality because it's got like even little little bag stumps for it compared to this one this one doesn't it's just flat so i guess this is more of an accessory function accessory mm, yeah so yeah woof okay so i don't know where i am in this Taobao haul now but i'm in love with this hari i love it moving on i bought another sailor skirt a sailor's tennis skirt this is in the size s and it is a nice like indigo blue, like Mirio's pants from Lim Million's Hero costume from Boku no Hero. I did like a, an OOTD outfit right here where you can see me wear the skirt. That's how it looks like. Just like any tennis skirt, it works great. I love wearing it for like my fashion wear, daily wear. It's cute. I love it and the quality is good too. It's thick. It's not like the flimsy cheap material. So that's what I really like. I forgot to mention this skirt also comes with like a protective shorts inside so in case you're jumping around girls don't worry your booty is covered it's safe you can do your splits your cartwheels and everything so that's what i like it's got a little protective short shorts underneath i don't think the seller that i bought this from has it without but you can always just cut them um cut it off if you buy the skirt so yay that's nice Okay, over here is an Uraraka hero costume that I got from the same seller, which is Miko Ka Mi Mi Costumes. And this is how it looks like. It's basically a swimsuit material. Oh, sorry, lighting. Sorry there, guys, lighting. So it's basically a swimsuit material. This is how it looks like. It's like a like a whole scuba diving outfit. I do love the feel of it and there's like an in invisible zipper behind. The only thing that I don't like about the costume is this pink part of her outfit. They're basically made out of like this fabric where you can't really expand. So if you have like big arms, that could be worrying because it, you may not be able to fit through them not sure what this material is but I really like it it came with the whole set so I particularly wanted the bodysuit this is how the bodysuit looks like and the props that came with it is in here you get two of her bubble ring um, little key little keychains here I did like a cosplay test for you guys to see in case you want to see how it looks like uh, I don't really like how these came out but these are really nice for like a fun Halloween party I'm getting mine custom made uh, 3d printed by hyper studio I'll link them also down below for all like my cosplay shenanigans for you guys so it comes with these two little bracelets that she has the belt which is made from like a pillow styrofoam they're all made from like this pillow cushion material and this is her belt Again, it's a little bit flimsy, but mm, no worries. And it also comes with her collar, which is just a Velcro thingy. I have a small neck, so it looked like I have no neck, but I do. I mean, I have a short neck, guys. So I really like this one. It's very true to like her uh, hero outfit, even the color and the pink. Though I just wish it was a little bit thinner so that it would sit more like this rather than look like a choker choking me. So, ah, my hair's stuck. So that was the Uraraka outfit hero costume. On to the last bits. Here is the Boku no Hero sports uniform I got. I have like a little cosplay photo here and also a video demo. You guys can look back at my previous videos to see how they all look like. So I ordered this in the size 
M for females and it comes with the pants as well. Look at that. And the pants has pockets, guys. It has, it's, it's an actual sports uniform. It's got pockets. Ah! I love it. So, and it's so inexpensive. It was only 60 ringgit and the quality is really good. I wore this like a lot of times for my cosplays. And if you remove the coat here, I also, ta-da, another outfit. It's basically the summer uniform. Again, from my Ashiro Mina cosplay and my Uraraka cosplay, you guys can get the gist of how it looks like. It came with a zipper tie and the zipper tie is really easy. You can just pull it and you're done, you're good to go. I do like the finishing of it. The quality is still pretty good for a cosplay outfit and the green Seifuku skirt. I really love this. It represents some Boku no Hero Academia spirit. But most of all, my favorite is the sports uniform. It's amazing, great to wear. I think if I gotten the small, I would have been able. I would be able to wear it. I do want to get one, but I'm happy with the M size. But it would be like super fitting according to the measurements. So like when I wear it, it's like huh. So if I want to look like lean and good in that outfit, I'll probably get an S. That is basically the Boku no Hero cosplay outfits that I got. One is the sports uniform and one is the summer uniform, which I really like. I really would recommend you guys to check out the sellers I bought them from. And last but not least, we're on to like the last item now, which is these Zelda boots that I got. They are way more better than the ones that I previously got. Look at them. They are well fitted. I, its quality is way more better. It just has a zipper there. And I love them. I'll have like a little video of me wearing them so you guys can see how they look like. They're way more better than like the first pair of Zelda boots that I bought on AliExpress. I just recommend don't buy anything from AliExpress. They suck. Sorry, it was just a really cool flashback that he was at. everything I think there were about 40 items in this Taobao haul guys so I hope you enjoyed watching me flourish everything and sharing with you guys I'm kind of like going as fast as I can with this Taobao haul because I'm pretty sure you just want to see like how everything looks like and what I bought all the links are down below for you guys to check out how the items are on the seller store and you can kind of have like your fun shopping browsing moment window shopping I am in love with this Harry for my cosplay set. I plan on doing like a gender Ben Giyu cosplay. Maybe? Maybe? Let's see. I have to get his sword. Oh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for like watching my video until the end. I have, I have a lot of stuff like I will pan the camera later for you guys to see but I have a lot of stuff that I need to clear. A lot. So Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed this quickie quickie run through Taba Hall with me and leave a like. Let me know if you guys have any questions about how I got this stuff on Taobao. Comment below. I'll probably be able to help you out. 
I'll end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys soon. I'm going to be preparing for Comet Fiesta. So stay tuned with me on Instagram uh, and Twitter because I'm normally on there. And do let me know what was your favorite item in this Taba haul. I'd love to interact with you guys and just have a little chitty chat in the comment section below. So again, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all later. Stay peachy guys! Bye!